What's up, YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about Star Wars Outlaws again, because there's always controversy with these games. So let me explain it from my point of view here. It kind of, I, I want to kind of break down from my point of view of why people have a problem with the protagonist, okay? Aside from the horrible graphics and the sketchy gameplay and, you know, the, uh, the camera that comes straight out of Shadows of the Empire from the N64, a horrible camera. Let's talk about it, okay? Star Wars Outlaws director, bad faith discourse about protagonist appearance not worth engaging in. There's no nuance and possibility of real dialogue. Let's take a look at this. As previews for, as previews for the upcoming open world title that rolled out this week. Gerardi, 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 we'll go with that. In an interview with the Washington Post, touched on the discourse that some are pushing on social media. That K isn't attractive enough. His response, don't give that conversation attention. K is meant to be approachable. A petty thief who ends up barreling through this story. Making bad decisions and centered with around, centered with a lot of humor, humility, and toughness. Gerardi said, Gerardi said, Jared, Gerardi. That's what's important to me. And she's beautiful. Come on. Let me, uh, let me take you back to, I think 1979. Let's take, uh, we're, we're going to use aliens a lot because, oh, well, we, we have Charlie's angels and all that stuff too. Let's take you back to, to the 19, late 1970s, early 1980s. We had a lot of female action stars, specifically Sigourney Weaver as Ripley. Okay. Something about her character, right? There's some, I can't believe all these ads dude. like Jesus. There was something about Sigourney Weaver. Okay. As Ripley that struck a balance between the masculine and the feminine. Now she didn't have like the traditional feminine figure that you would expect, but she was hot. Leia is another good example. Very, very powerful woman. She was actually hot. She, well, they both were hot, but she had like traditional female figure, right? Or what a modern figure would be considered attractive. You know, obviously people have different tastes. Here's why people have a problem with it. When you're playing a video game, okay, or watching a movie, you want to see the best looking people playing that role. Why? You're watching a movie, man. You don't want to, you don't want to see someone that you could see at Starbucks. You don't want to see someone that, you know, is walking through Target or any other place. Some of us are with women who look worse or better than this objectively, right? We don't care. We, we love them. If you love a woman, you love them. It's not disparaging women. That's not the point of this. The point of people being mad about this is because when you're playing a game, you want to play someone who's hot. You want it to be the best of the best. Is Han Solo ugly? Is Harrison Ford ugly? No. Is Cal Kestis ugly? No. Is any of the uh, characters and Shadows of the Empire, Swator, any of those places, are they any of those characters ugly? No. They have traditional feminine looks if there is a female character in that game. Bastila is a good example, et cetera, et cetera. You get what I'm saying. With, you get where I'm going with this. Why? Because people like being the hero, people like getting the girl. That is a masculine trait. Most of the audience for Star Wars is masculine. And I would assume even some, even women like men want to play attractive characters. Do I want to play Dash Rendar and Han Solo? Or do I want to play some, some average guy I see at the gym? No, I want to play Han Solo. I, I want to play Dash Rendar. I want to look cool. I want to, I want to play Chris Pratt. I want to, I want to look up to those people, right? Especially if you're younger, I want to go to the gym. I want to work out. I want to look the best I can. If I'm playing a video game, I want to play the best version of that character that you can have. Han Solo is awesome. Lando looks good. Pedro Pascal looks good. Nobody wants, you know, an average looking person to be the protagonist. No, there's nothing inherently wrong with this, with this woman. If you saw her, you, you'd probably want a number. You'd probably talk to her at a bar. You, you swipe right on, on whatever thing you're using, right? Of course, 
There's there's nothing. Nobody would turn her down. Nobody's going to look at her and be like, oh, my God, she's so ugly. I don't want to go out with her. What we're saying is, and our point is, when you're playing a game, you want the best looking person for the game. You want to have a good figure. You want to be cool as well. And you could be cool while being attractive. I'm going to go off here. I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give you some cool ass women that are attractive. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Tina Turner. If you watch Tina Turner, she had that jean jacket. That's fucking cool. Tina Turner with the jean jacket. That's as cool as it gets. That's fucking cool. Leia in, in her return of the Jedi outfit, riding around on the speeders. That's fucking cool. That's cool. Paula Abdul. That's cool. These women are cool. Britney Spears and what was it? Oops, I did it again with the red uh, red uh, leather suit. That's cool. That's still powerful. That's still feminine, but it's cool. You could Ripley in Aliens. Cool. Her shirt's all torn up at the end, dirty. That's cool. If you want to make any character in this game in Star Wars Outlaws, what I would do is I would I would artboard Ripley. Okay, I would artboard Ripley, and I would artboard uh, Han Solo. And you want to mesh those two characteristics together. You don't want her to have too much of a voluptuous figure. You want her to be a little bit rattled, but you also want it to be attractive and for people to feel powerful when they're playing that character. That's the bottom line. That's, that is the dialogue. If you engage with bad faith people, there's no nuance and no possibility of real dialogue. That's the real di dialogue for you, bro. That I just gave you the real dialogue. If you want to get to the root, you're instantly being negative towards these people, towards fans, you're instantly assuming that it's sexist or that the the, the reason why is because they're anti-woke or anti-women, anti, anti -women, et cetera, et cetera, that they want to be chads, they want to be sigmas, whatever. That's not the reason why. The reason why is because the way I just explained to you. And this wasn't an issue growing up. We never had issues like this growing up. And let's go take a look at the, you know, the, uh, the action. We've seen some of it, but I think there's new gameplay. Let's go take, we're going to take a look at that. So now this is Star Wars Outlaws, the, the final preview. Luckily, the frame rate is higher on this. This is this does look like 60 FPS, and you can tell because it's moving division. seamlessly. Speaking I'm on a 120 hertz monitor, by the way. Let's go make sure that my settings quality. Yeah, see, we're on. We can go to. We'll go to 4K for you. I'll go to 4K. I'm on a 120 hertz monitor. And uh, you know, we can hear the dialogue, all this good stuff. But let's let's get to the action. You know. So her figure is not that bad. But but the way she walks doesn't look too, too feminine. You know, it uh, it just doesn't look kind of right, you know? And the way she's, she's, crawl, she's uh, you know, traversing the scenes looks a little bit too much like Cal Kestis. And you gotta, you gotta imagine, you want, you, you, you want to do the right thing. You want, you want it to look more feminine when you're doing these things, right? And I don't want to nitpick here, but let's go look at the, the blaster real quick. Let's look at these blasters. Next job will be better. And because in my opinion, like outlaws will do any rock star like bar raising. Let's see if I can get to the. Raising. Yeah. So in my opinion, they didn't do the uh, the hit markers very well. We have the blaster there and you could see this right here on the screen. You could you could see it. It uh, doesn't blend in very well. Look at now. Look at the background. OK. It's a very techno, uh, techno punk background, you know, techno punk, I would say is like Star Wars, uh, you know, the, the, the original trilogies, like tech trilogies, like techno punk, you see this and, uh, the, the, the hit markers don't look good. They don't have that feel back. How I would approach this is this is just a little side note. I would look at call of duty. They have the best hit markers in any game. I don't think having this flashing red hit marker is a good idea. This flashing red hit marker just doesn't look good. We're going to keep going. We're going to get to and where we see her face in real time. Final build of it I mean, it's not too bad. My, my hopes for this game went up a little bit. I can say it's still one of my most anticipated games. And I think they're probably playing on ultra settings on a PC, uh, maybe. And it feels very Star Wars okay. in all. Here we go. Okay. And of course, every Star Wars all game right needs a ways. side character. But here we go. And you can see here, the problem is, I don't know, this doesn't zoom in very well on YouTube. I don't know why it just can not zoom in, but we can see here, uh, actually, you know what? Let me do it on OBS real quick. Let me, uh, let's get that up. 
we will zoom the hell in on this. All right, bro. Now look at that. That is not a feminine chin. These are not feminine arms or shoulders or even forearms. So th this is the problem here. And uh, I think even the legs aren't tapered enough. Women have a, their legs are a lot more tapered in my opinion. So if we look at this, there's nothing inherently wrong. Of course she's attractive. Of course she's hot. This looks kind of good. Their cutscenes are actually looking better. Like I said, this is probably on ultra settings. So be prepared. But the eyebrows, dude, I mean, come on with the eyebrows and I'm nitpicking here, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. You guys get what I'm, what I'm saying. You got, you, you, you get it. It's, it's not about, you know, her figure. It's not about the backside of her figure, her, her butt, her boobs. It's not about any of that. It's just about the face, the way she moves, the animations and all around, all around about her doesn't seem very feminine. We made it. Ubisoft it just has doesn't. developed a reputation for making checklist open world games. Uh, Big spaces where you're given a to-do list running, of I mean, uh, running and activities to complete. Again, this is nitpicking. I understand. I understand. This is the game, the game might actually turn out to be fun. We'll have to see. Me about Star Wars but you see what I'm saying about the, the effects, too. You can see it on the speeder. That, that lens flare. Closer to I mean, that looks like a, an amateur lens flare you would do in After Effects. I mean, it doesn't look like something you would do in Unreal. Real. more organic than they do in the publisher's other games. For example, while wandering around the town of Miragana on the planet Toshara, mm -hmm. I walked mm -hmm. by an arcade minigame. Let's of see, sorts. what is this? I wandered up and played around. Okay, so and yeah, it's time, pretty cool. I but my my prediction ultimately, bedding stand where there's I some cool stuff here. Okay, there's some cool stuff. Rate. My prediction ultimately is that it's going to be a hollow game. It's probably going to be a fun experience. And my prediction is the reviews will get six, seven out of 10. And it might be worth picking up. But the problems we have with this game is, you know, fidelity, the way the look, the way the looks are, and it just doesn't seem right. You just know it in your mind. We are, most of us aren't 3D graphics artists. Most of us don't render in Blender or make projects in Unreal. At least I don't. We don't develop CG for movies. We don't know exactly, we can't exactly articulate some of the things we have a problem with. We just know it's wrong because we've seen things better. We just kind of know something's off with this character. And the looks are the most apparent thing are the looks. Those are my thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws. Let me know if you want me to buy this game and play it and give you some footage to uh, give my point of view, my perspective as not being an actual like professional content creator, so to speak. If you like this video, go ahead, like it, subscribe, share. We, I am almost at 200. Thank you, everybody. I do have some hot takes. I do try to be positive. So, hey, maybe this game will be an 8 out of 10. Don't know. Thanks.